there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making this awesome little tower fold card. This is actually the first tower fold card I've made and I had a lot of fun with it and I have to tell you it's not as hard as you might think it will be. Um, if you follow the directions it's actually pretty simple. So I hope you'll join me while we make this card. This is project number one in my Butterfly Brilliance uh, Create Kit. You can check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current Create Kit I'm offering as my customer reward. Now if you don't have the kit, don't worry, I'll give the directions and the instructions and dimensions as we go along so that you can make one of these awesome tower cards along with us. Now the kit centers around the Butterfly Brilliance stamps, but you can see it doesn't have any sentiments on it, even though it's a beautiful stamp set. Um, so we're going to use Peaceful Moments. This is an awesome uh, stamp set. It has several different types of occasion sentiments. So it's a good one to have in your stash uh, for that quick card or for any uh, occasion, just about. And we won't be using these stamps today, but we will be using the dies that come in the Butterfly Brilliance bundle. And we are not even going to be doing any coloring. These butterflies are cut out of DSP. So we'll do a little stamping here on the back and a little stamping on the front. And um, I'll show you a little trick to make this a little bit easier for you. So let's get started with our project. So this is what the kit looks like. Uh, if you don't have the kit uh, and you're interested in my kits, check out that website and see how you can get a kit of your own see what current kit I'm offering. Okay, some of these papers I cut for you because um, we're going to actually use these on two separate cards. So I wanted to make sure that they got cut in the right direction. I didn't want anybody to have any tears because <laughs> they cut it in the wrong direction. This is a, um, the uh, paper that we'll be using today. We'll be cutting out all these awesome butterflies. And then the other paper that we're going to be using, we'll be using this larger piece of this paper here. So the larger piece and then the bigger butterflies. And I think you'll notice that with your kits, I used to give you full size sheets of cardstock, but for shipping, uh, it's easier to ship uh, half sheets and it's also easier for you to, to use in, the, in our classes. So uh, I give you two sheets of Melon Mambo, a beautiful pink, to make your card base. Uh, you only need one, so if you want to make two cards, maybe you can make two cards. You might have to find a different uh, DSP because we use almost every bit of the DSP in, in the kit in our projects. But you probably have some DSP at home that you can use in place of the butterfly DSP. And you can always put a different um, design on the front element that you want to add to it. But these are already pre-colored because they are here on our paper. Isn't that awesome? And uh, so you'll need two sheets of the Melon Mambo. And what else are you going to need? You're going to need some Bermuda Bay. Now you'll see some different colors of green here. And um, there's that, so I don't want you to get confused. I'll bring them all out. This darker, beautiful green here is your Bermuda Bay. This lighter green is your pool party. And this is your, I think that's mint macaron. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's mint macaron. But what you want today is you want um, the Bermuda Bay. And I'm not sure how much of that you're going to need. So we'll just take one sheet out for now and hopefully that's going to be enough. I think you're only going to need a tiny, tiny bit because the only Bermuda Bay is this design here behind the butterflies. 
So well, let's see. So you need that. Going to need some basic white. And um, so I do put, I put the thick uh, basic white in here. These are your card bases. You're, if you're not, um, today we're using Melon Mambo, but if we're using white, it would be in here. I wanted to keep them separate because I didn't want you to have to figure out which one was the thick basic white and which one was the regular basic white. So we won't need any thick today because our ba card base is Melon Mambo. So you're going to need some basic white, probably just the one sheet. We can always grab another one if we need to. So I'm looking at the PDF, and you can bring the PDF up on your screen too um, if you want. So Melon Mambo, basic white, um, Bermuda Bay. This is probably not necessary for this um, project. And then our DSP and DSP. There's just a little bit of stamping. No embellishments, no ribbon. This should be easy, except for the the, um, the cutting that we have to do, and, and that's really not that difficult. I, I, I want to stress that, so if, if you feel like it's going to be too difficult for you, don't. It's not. So let's cut our cardstock to size first. So I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Trimmer and grab my Melon Mambo. Now normally a uh, card base is eight and a half by five and a half, but we're going to have to change that. We're going to have to have eight and a quarter. So basically you're going to take one quarter. Now you can you can do two ways and it might be less confusing if you do it this way. I'm going to swing my arm out here and I'm going to bring it up to eight and a quarter. Really, you only have to take a quarter of an inch off, but like I said, rather than have it be a little confusing, go ahead and just measure eight and a quarter and take your quarter off that way. So that's our card base. And what, what else do we need? We need some basic weight. We need a two by five. So we're gonna do a two inch this way. And then we're going to do a five inch this way. This is for the back. Put our sentiment on and to write our names and whatever else we want to do. We'll be stamping on that. And then another basic white, one half by four. So I'm going to use this side over here, one half. And then I'm going to make that four inches. Okay, one and a half by four. That's going to be our front sentiment here. We're going to stamp on that and then we're going to make a little flag out of it, a little banner. Um, what else? So that's all the white we need. And Bermuda Bay, the darker green. We need four and a quarter by one and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at four and a quarter. I'm going to cut it in half like that. And then I'm going to cut it at one and a half like this. So there's my four and a quarter by one and a half. And that's going to be behind the butterflies. And so we can put this with our stash. And our DSP, uh, this will be die cutting, so don't need to cut that. This piece here um, is going to be, and I did it so that the dark pink is over here in the corner. Uh, I just thought it looked better like that with the dark pink in down at the bottom. So we need two pieces that are three and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I'm going over here and I'm finding three quarters. And it slid, so let me make sure. Three quarters. You don't want to mess up on this part of it. <laughs> three quarters 
and then three quarters again, half, three quarters again, and then this piece is supposed to be two inches. So we might have to take a little bit off of it as well, two inches. Okay, so this is extra. If you wanna find something <clears throat> to do with that, you can. Okay, so there's, there's, our, there's our card, DSP. All right, I think that's all the cutting. Um, are we ready? <laughs> are you ready to do the card base? All right, remember I gave you two just in case, just because I, I, I know it's a new to you probably. You might not have made this. This is the first one I've made, like I said. So we're gonna put it horizontal and we're gonna score, not cut, score. So I'm gonna put my cutting blade way down here the bottom so it doesn't get in my way and I use it by mistake. So we're going to score at one inch and we're going to score at two inches. I'll move it over to two. There you go, two, right there. All right, and then you're going to put it over here at three, but you're not going to score all the way down. You're only going to score down to two. Now, I have cut a piece of white, a strip of white um, cardstock that was 12 inches, but if you only have 11 inches and you can use the paper for your printer, you just want to have it a quarter of an inch wide. And you're going to take two glue dots. You put a glue dot at the top and a glue dot at the bottom and you're gonna glue dot that there over behind your, um, your numbers. So you can see those numbers because you can't see those numbers unless you put something white behind them. So if you wanna pause the video and go ahead and put a piece of quarter inch strip of white something, whatever you have with a couple of glue dots at top and bottom, and that will help you so, so much. So, now that you've got that done, <laughs> we've got it at three inches. We're only going to score down to two inches. And in your score tool, your score blade, on the side there's a little like groove on both sides. And you want that groove to be right over the two inch mark. So I'm gonna score down to two this groove is even with the two mark. And I'm gonna go back up, and that is that side. Now I'm gonna flip it and score on the other side. Three inches, and then again down to two. Um, and then back up <laughs> if I had to pause for a minute because I'm like I hope I'm doing this right so I'm it's down to two here down to two there now we do the same thing on the other side score at one inch remember to use your scoring blade score one inch score two inches over to three and you're going to score down to two just to the two and back and then you're going to flip it over and do the other half. Score at three, down to two and back. Okay, so now we've got that. Now before, um, should we do this before yeah, I think we should do this before we do any of the folding. Now, the all of these little cuts here can be a little frustrating. So what I want you to do is before we get started, I want you to get 
two regular size dimensionals. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to show you. I <laughs> it messed up the first time, so I'm going to show you. Um, you want to get your cutting blade. You're going to take this groove and you're going to put the groove over one where it matches with the one and then you're going to put a, a dimensional right up next to it so it can't go past. Don't take the top part off. It does, you're not going to worry about it being sticky. So bring it over to three. Now the groove is le level with three. You're going to put another stick, uh, another dimensional there. The idea is, is that you can slide back between one and three that simple and you don't have to worry about measuring it and getting it just right. Okay, hope you're following me. Okay, so this is what we're going to do next. We're going to cut between one and three, four lines here, four lines here, four lines here, and four lines there. One, two, three, yeah, four lines. So we'll start with um, over here, half an inch. Okay, half an inch. Line it up, make sure that it's straight. And get your thing at one inch. Okay. All right, so I've got it at one inch. I'm gonna go as far as I can go to, I touch that. And I'm going to go back till I touch that. That's a half an inch. Now one inch. I don't know if I said half an inch last time or if I said one inch over there. Okay, so one inch. <laughs> I don't know. It just doesn't want to stay in place. One inch. Up to three. Back. One and a half inch up to three and back. And I can see that there. I have to be careful I go all the way because I'm thinking I didn't go all the way here. So let me do this one again. Half inch. It's not supposed to be this hard, guys. <sighs> yeah, I did. I went all the way. I just It just doesn't look like it. Okay, so I did my one and a half. Now I'm going to do two. Okay, up to three and back. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four little rows. I actually cut three, three times, and I have four little things. Now I'm going to flip it over and do this side. This hopefully should get easier as we as we go along. Okay, so hold that in place. One to three and then back to one. One inch. One to three and back to one. One and a half inches. One to three, back to one, and two inches. One to three, and back to one. Okay, so we've got all those done. That wasn't too hard. The hardest part is getting the, the cardstock straight. Okay, so I've got it a half an inch again. Make sure it's level down here on your half inch mark. One to three one inch one to three one and a half inches one to three and two inches one to three all right now flip it over do this side one half inch. It's kind of repetitive. One to three. One inch. 
one to three, one and a half inches, one to three, and then two. And one to three. All right, believe it or not, that's it. That's our cutting. So we're done with that. For your folding, the end, these on the end, you're going to fold forward. This one here, you're going to fold um, these. <laughs> so, so I don't, I don't want you to fold all of them all the way. I just kind of get them started because some of them are going to go underneath and some are going to go up, up. So over, under, over, under. over, under, over, under. Okay, do you see where this is going, guys? I'm having to, maybe if I use my bone folder, huh? It will it will get a better crease. Like I said, this is my first one doing this. This is the second time. The first one was when I made the original and this is my second time doing it. So please be, be kind. <laughs> All right, so this one, over, under, over, under. Over, under, over, under. And then we're gonna just kinda Push that together and crease it with our bone folder. And now we have our tower card. That wasn't too bad, I hope. I know I'm not the best um, at it yet, but I'm um, with a little practice maybe. So um, our DSP. Um, did I not cut this? I did not, did I? Guess what? These are, I didn't cut these. Let's cut them at five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. I think I'll cut the dark, the lighter end up here. Five and a quarter. Take, take my things off. Okay, five and a quarter. And I want the, the darker pink to stay, so I'm gonna do five and a quarter here. I can't believe that I didn't finish cutting these correctly. Dark pink, I'm gonna keep five and a quarter. All right. Now, now it should be the right size for our card. So we've got beautiful butterflies. How do I want them? I think I like them better that way. And then this and this. So um, should we, I guess we'll go ahead and do some stamping next. So we'll set this aside. Get out our stamping. I've got my stamp apparatus and I have a random pad there. The the set the the, the peaceful moments is the stamps that we're going to use and we want life is better with a friend like you and then happy birthday or it could be thank you or thinking of you, um, wishing you 
every happiness this special day will bring. Anything you want to put on the back. But I'm going to do happy birthday. You will want to get your 4x6 window sheet and you'll need some memento ink. Let's do our happy birthday first. So I'm going to take my 4x6 window sheet and put it in the corner. Put my happy birthday here. Get that magnet out of the way. I'm going to pick that up, that happy birthday. Ink it up. Stamp my plastic and that will show me where it's going to stamp. That way I can line it up so that it looks nice and even and level and all that good stuff. And then I'll remove my plastic, ink up my stamp again, and stamp my happy birthday and it'll be right where I want it to be. I'm just going to stamp it a little bit more because I like it nice and dark. Okay, so that's our back. Now for Life is Better with a Friend, uh, let me wipe off my um, plastic here. Wipe my plastic off. And I'm using these Honest Wipes and I'm really loving them. Honest. <laughs> Honest I am. Alright, so that's that. And now I want to do the same thing with the Life is Better with a Friend Like You. I'm going to lay that down there. I'm going to put it all the way to the edge here. Not all the way to the edge, but close to the edge. I'm going to ink that up and stamp it. Now this is going to be a little bit hard to slide under there, so what I need to do, I keep this handy. It's just a, strip, a piece of scratch paper where I put a little bit of snail or a little seal and then I kind of touch it with my hands so that it's not too too sticky because I don't want it too too sticky. And I put it there where it's sticky. Then I slide it underneath here. And I line that up. Life is better. And I want it in the exact center because um, I want to make sure I have room on each end to cut this little, the little banner flag thing. And I want all my letters on the, on the piece of paper. It's a little tight fit, but it will fit there. You just have to kind of work with it. And you can always cut another piece if you if you get a boo-boo. Mm, okay, I think that's well, I need to come over just a little bit. That's good right there. Awesome. So now I will ink up my stamp again. And of course I'm gonna do it again, you know. <laughs> because you know me, I will. And that like you is all the, it's just not wanting to get in there. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that because I don't wanna get too picky. All right, now my life is better with a friend like you. I'm gonna clean up my um, plastic and put it away. Clean up my stamp and put it away. And believe it, that's all the stamping that we're going to do. So, um, to make this flag, you're going to take some scissors and you're going to cut in about a quarter of an inch in the center like this. I'll see if I can get it up there so you can see it. And then from corner to center. And it's kind of hard to do <laughs> on the camera. And then from corner to center. Let me get that. All 
Okay, there's one. Now, quarter inch in the center, corner to center, and corner to center. And you might have to give it a little bit of a tug. All right, there is our banner. So I'm gonna clear this away and we're gonna do some die cutting. Okay, so we're ready to do some die cutting and we need to die cut a couple things. First, we're gonna die cut our butterflies and we're gonna use this die here, if I can get it off <laughs> the thing. It um, cuts out all of these butterflies at one time. And I found that it's easier if you use the antennas of the butterflies to line it up. Make sure you can see that all the antennas are kind of where they need to be and it will cut them out perfectly. And I have some scotch removable tape that I'm going to put here on the edge to keep these in place because I don't want them to move at all. Not even the slightest. And I'm going to bring in my die cut machine. This is the stamp and cut and emboss. Let me move out a little bit. Whoops, wrong direction. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put my. So, for those of you who haven't used one of these before, they come in different plates. You, for cutting, you do plate one and then plate two. And then you need a plate three, and then your paper with your cutting side down, and then another plate three, and then you just run it through like this. And that cracking is normal, it just means it's doing its job. And here's all our precious butterflies careful taking this one out. It's little antennas want to stick in there. Okay, so we have all these butterflies from one piece of paper. So that's the first die cutting that we need to do. And then the second die cutting is a little bit more, I would say, tedious. This little die that looks like bricks we're going to make this background here and there's really no <clears throat> right or wrong I'm just gonna kind of start here um, and now I'm going to come in <laughs> and let you see that I'm just gonna kind of start right there and I'm going to run that through. Now I could use my mini on this and I think it would be probably easier to do my mini but uh, you may not have a mini so. Now these bricks you could use for another card if you wanted to save them. The little brick cutouts but right now I'm not, I don't need those. So now I'm going to um, kind of put it up there like that and get it a little bit closer here come on come on come on and run that through and some more bricks you can kind of see where that's going now Um, down here at the bottom, um, I, I just don't know where I want to do this next. How about right here? That kind of looks good. Whoops.
And it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, because your butterflies are going to cover up some of that imperfection if you don't get it perfect. Okay, so um, I think, am I, do I really, what, what do I want to do now? Oh, I got some of those that don't want to come out. Get my pokey tool. Take your pick tool. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering, do I even want to attempt? I'm going to try it, guys. I might want to use my tape for this. So I would say there's really no right or wrong. Um, you're just going to, let me pull that out a little bit. You're just going to do this until you're happy with it, really. Because it is just a background. Okay. And my tape is sticking. Okay. I wish I remember how I did the first one. <laughs> it would be a lot easier. And then this one here, I think I will do it here. And if you don't want to do as much as I did, you could just do a little bit. Okay, so there we go. That's enough. <laughs> I don't want to do too much. Now this part here, I think I'm going to hide that with my butterfly. So I don't, I'm not really liking that. So I'm going to hide that with my butterfly. And you can hide your bad places too. So we're done with this die. And we're done with our stamp and cut and emboss. And guess what? We are ready to start assembling our card. So we're going to bring everything in. Now the butterflies that we're going to use in this project are these two right here. This one's going to go there. This one's going to go there. We have our friend like you that's going to go over this piece right here. Our happy birthday that's going to go on the back. It should be pretty easy to put together. So let's start by putting to get some soft quick on my hands. Let's start by getting our cardstock, um, our DSP on. I've got some ink. Um, I've got some multi-purpose glue. Make sure that I'm going to just do little dots in the corner and then a few dots along the sides not too close to the edge. I'll show you. This is what I've done. Okay, so I want the I want the darker pink at the bottom, so make sure I do that. And the reason the glue is good is it lets you move things around so you have even spacing all around. So we'll do this one in a corner and then kind of all around. Dark pink in the bottom. Nice. Then this one, you can decide how you think the butterflies look best. You don't want them flying upside down. That's the only thing to look for <laughs> so that you don't have them flying upside down. Although they might do that. Those rascally butterflies just might do that. And in the center. Like that. Okay. 
and let's go ahead and put this on with uh, mini dimensionals that's these guys over here the little ones I'm going to use four one two When these are new, they're kind of hard to get out of here. Okay, so there's my four. One, two, three, four. And it's going to go centered over this and in the middle. Life is better with a friend like you and now our butterflies you can decide well first of all let's put this here and like I said this side I want to hide with this butterfly so I'm gonna put that up in the corner and I'm gonna put that on with glue and I'm just gonna find places where I can put dots of glue and make it stay down there's plenty of them Okay, you can see my dots of glue. That's going to go over the center piece and centered in the middle of it. Okay, make sure that it doesn't interfere with any of the movement. Oops, get down there. Okay, and then arrange your butterflies. This one's going to be a little higher than that one. Um, and you don't, you don't really want the wing to be past this part here so that when you put it in your envelope, it doesn't stick out too far. So I'm getting an idea, a visual idea of where I want my butterfly. And I'm going to put it on with some mini dimensionals. So I'm on the tips of the wing, at the bottom, some in the middle to kind of give it some support so it doesn't sag. And I usually like to just kind of go overboard. Why not? Okay. And you know, you know why I use this. I will be here all day trying to do that. I just think it's easier to do it this way. And then of course it wants to stick to you. <laughs> Got, got them all okay yeah I tried to remember where I put it and I think this wing was kind of in the corner there a little bit above that there there's that that's good now this one is going to go here but guess what um we're going to put it on with the regular dimensionals because we want it to be higher than the the uh, greenish blue one so I'm gonna look and see where I can put I know I can put one two probably three maybe four well I can put one one on each okay all right so here we go we've got one but where it hangs over the side, I'm going to want extra ones, like one, two, three, maybe here, where it's going to hang over the side. So I'm going to take off that and put one right on top of it. Take off the that and put another one on top of it. And take off that and put another one on top of it. And I think that's going to do it. 
yep that's gonna do it so where it touches the butterfly underneath I only have one but where it touches the cardstock underneath here I have double that that makes it level so it doesn't sag okay so let's take those off and let's get it so it's where we want it all right that looks pretty I'm just going to push it down and there's no right or wrong as long as you like it it's it's right okay and then um, I probably could have doubled that one there but that's okay and then on the back I, and I'm probably should have done this first I'm going to with my glue in the corner here and then kind of around like that you can see where I put my glue I'm just going to make sure that it's <laughs> not upside down and I'm going to put this on the back in the center like this make sure it's even press it down oops not wanting to do what it's supposed to here we go and guess what guys we have our tower card yay not as hard as you thought I hope practice 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 makes perfect um, and I hope that little tip helped you with the putting the the um, white strip underneath there to see the, the the numbers and also to put the regular dimensionals between here so that you could just go back and forth really quick all right Thanks for watching. Check out my website www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current uh, Create Kit I'm offering for my customer reward. And um, I will see you in video two. Bye now.